I bet you did not believe the title of this video. Yeah, you thought it was clickbait, but actually no. Uh, Nissan is launching an all-electric pickup truck ahead of Rivian and Tesla. As a matter of fact, those guys are not coming up with one until a couple of years from now, but Nissan is launching it next month. And by launching, I don't mean sending us some sketches show showcasing their, their Photoshop skills. No, it's not a concept car. It's, this damn thing is going on production next month. Now, the specs are pretty interesting. We're going to talk about it uh, in a little, but uh, the, in the story like this, there's always a really good news and the really, really bad news. I don't know if you can guess the bad news, but yeah, let me tell you, you're going to hear that a lot from whoever you're getting your electric car news, um, which I actually hope it's me, which is a probably a good time to uh, make sure you guys click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about it. Some specs, the good news, bad news, we'll laugh, we'll cry, we'll have a good time. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, just like I said, there is a subscribe button down there, so don't forget to click on that. All right. Now, I'm still kind of, my mind is a little blown, I have to say. Um, now, this uh, pickup truck that's here, I kind of photoshopped it. I'll show you some pictures that I've been taking. Up. Another thing I should mention, the pictures that are coming are from a, a publication and kind of really is very independent from uh, Nissan. Nissan has not really officially announced this, which is kind of weird. Now, they are doing it uh, with, uh, with a partner, which is a Chinese company, um, Dong Feng Motors, a bit of an, an, an unfortunate name, if if you ask me. Though uh, I have to say, you you know you got to have balls to challenge Tesla and Rivian on their own turf and come up with a with an all electric pickup truck. So kudos to Dong Feng Motors. Actually, I, uh, I, when I was in China, I saw a lot of cars uh, with uh, with this logo. So it is uh, one of the major manufacturers there. So this is the one that Nissan partnered with. So let's look at some pictures. Um, now, uh, this this all of the pictures I'm showing comes from carnewschina.com. And again, not Nissan. I searched Nissan's you know uh, Twitter feed and Instagram feed and their press sites you know all day long. Nothing. They're doing it harsh hush. I don't know why. If if this was my company, I would be running around telling everybody who listened that I got an all electric pickup truck. But not them. All right, fine. Uh, now this one looks like a normal pickup truck, uh, just for common folk, if you will. Uh, it, it doesn't look like a, a copier machine that was left in the dark. It doesn't have a soup kitchen, you know, built in. So granted, but. It is a truck that most people will recognize as, hey, uh, I, I'm just one one, and if it happened to be electric, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if I can save on gas, if I can get some uh, uh, um, rebates, I, I, I think people will really, really like it. Now, here's another picture. As you can see now, this uh, truck already existed, and as a matter of fact, it's, it's called uh, a Rich 6 EV. Now, I don't know who Rich is, or is it like uh, Richard the Six, whatever, but th that truck already existed in the gas version, so they've converted it. Um, <laughs> the only difference really is if, if you would look at the gas version of it, you'll see that um, the grill has been kind of patched up, and then they have little accents uh, on on uh, the the blue ones on on the wheels and on the uh, the fog lights. Um, and I know sometimes it's green, sometimes it's blue. I think in China they prefer blue for for green energy kind of stuff. Uh, so it has five uh, a five uh, is a five seater cab. Uh, it's not as long as you can see on the back, uh, but it's long enough to be a pickup truck. Uh, you know, the one that Rivian has also not that big, but nevertheless. Um, so they've converted the gas uh, pickup truck into an electric. Uh, I'm going to assume they haven't really disclosed this, uh, that it's a front uh, a drive. Uh, that's because they probably just dumped a motor. It's a single motor uh, instead of the engine, which a lot of manufacturers have done before is with uh, Kia Niro EV and Hyundai Kona EV. That's just how it's done. But nevertheless, they did get it done. Now, here's a spec that I'm not really that excited about uh, because the top speed of this truck, and here's another picture of it. Uh, the, top, uh, the top speed of this truck, I kid you not, is 68 miles an hour. So, yeah, I mean, you might be able to pass some Priuses on the road, but you're not going to catch up to this little cat right here, which just looks like it's recharging on the sun. I bet it can do it faster than the truck as well. But yes, that's right. Cheetah will outrun this pickup truck. 
So if you're chasing one or running away from one, this is not the vehicle for you. 68 miles an hour. Now, I'm, I'm going to assume that, you know, I, you know, if you're okay with using the right lane or using the left lane and everybody hating you, this, this is an acceptable speed. A lot of times people just drive to and from work and drop off their kids and everything. They never use freeways. So this is one... Uh, this is one uh, <laughs> This spec is odd, is, is all I'm going to say. But just like I said, there's good news and the bad news. Now, I'm going to tell you the bad news and it, um, well, no, no, let's let's start with the good news. Um, it's going to blow your mind, actually. And it's going to be about the price. Before that, of course, I want to uh, mention that this video and uh, this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV coming next year to Europe and the United States, starting at only $45,000. That's before the incentives. Join myself and over 50,000 other people who've already reserved one. Uh, it takes zero dollars to reserve one, about, I don't know, a minute of your time. So go to the description of this video, click on that link, and reserve your Python today. All right, so let's talk about some uh, uh, good news. Um, now, here's a booty of uh, that truck. And um, uh, the, the good news is that it, you're not going to believe the price. It is $19,000. $19,000. Now, I should probably also tell you the range, which is not bad. It's, I, mean, I don't know why I even didn't mention it. It's 175 uh, miles if you convert it to the EPA rating. It's really hard to convert like other uh, uh, metrics into EPA, but essentially it's going to be 175 miles. Now, of course, I prefer over 200 uh, and we don't know what it's going to be with a full load, but it is pretty decent, I have to say. Now, the price is $19,000. Uh, I it, like. If I saved up for two of these trucks, I still can't get a Model 3 for it, right? Or barely can. Uh, so that is amazing news. Now, here comes the bad news. Again, you're going to hear this a lot. And if you haven't guessed this, um, you know, you haven't been watching the show. But it is going to come at the very first to China, right here. Um, I took this picture, by the way, when I was there last year. It was good times. It took a lot of selfies here's another one uh the same place by the way look who's photobombing me yeah that's right it's tom malogny from uh, inside evs he is a regular here he's got his own segment that's called uh, plugged in with tom malogny uh he's gonna be here uh, this weekend once again so i hope you enjoy his episode but enough of my selfies you know well okay, okay well one more one more selfie right uh and and this one is uh i love my uh, now you're probably asking uh, alex you're gluten-free. What are you doing eating at McDonald's? Couldn't you have found a Chipotle? But actually, uh, a lot of us gluten-free folks, we can eat gluten outside of America, like in Europe and China, because they don't really poison their, their wheat, which essentially is gluten, as much as we do here. So I can actually eat McDonald's over there. No, they, they do poison their air. Uh, which kind of brings me back to their all-electric truck, which is only available in uh, China. Well, uh, you know, a lot of times you don't know if this truck or the cars that they're introducing in China will ever come to the United States or Europe because, I mean, I'm going to assume the price is this amazing. By the way, the price is after incentives, but the incentives are pretty solid right now in China. Um, and it probably would convert to something very similar in the United States and Europe with incentives and, and Canada actually as well, depending on the province you live in. But... China has been driving the electric car revolution from the other end, right? In the US and uh, Europe, it's been driven by, you know, Tesla and other companies that are introducing electric cars and technology has been driving it. Well, in China, it's government regulations have been driving it and they've been really tough. Uh, uh, by the way, the reason Nissan is uh, cooperating with uh, uh, Dongfeng Motors is because it is required by law there. Uh, though the, that law is, is easing up right now, as you know, Tesla is going to have a solely owned uh, factory by the end of the year, pretty much. They're going to start production of Model 3, they just uh, they just mentioned. So um, the regulations are really, really tightened up and all of these companies are trying to make electric cars and, and, and drive them to, uh, to China first. Um, yes, the regulations there also are not strict enough where these cars would probably never probably they will never pass the regulations in Europe uh, in in America because of safety but you know that Nissan knows how to make cars outside of China pretty good ones actually so uh, this technology can be kind of dropped if you will just like they dropped the motor instead of the engine can be dropped into uh, their other versions of their trucks uh, in Europe and in America but unfortunately 
this is going to happen a lot. As a matter of fact, a lot of uh, Chinese companies that are planning on launching their cars in the US are most likely going to be uh, launching them in China first, see how it goes, and then expanding. NIO is being one of them. So, yes, Nissan beat uh, uh, both uh, Tesla and the Rivian to market, but it is not to our market, unfortunately. But you know, China is the biggest one of them all. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Would you actually, if this truck would come to the United States or Europe, would you buy it? Would you buy it ahead of uh, uh, Rivian or uh, Tesla's truck? Obviously, it's again not as advanced, uh, but it is a pickup truck. The price is great. Let me know. Uh, a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Kenichi Yoshia. Uh, uh, thank you my, uh, so much for uh, uh, supporting my uh, Fida YouTuber. Uh, a, a project, uh, the money that you're donating will go to this YouTuber's food shelter and most likely press credentials to the next electric car show event. So I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, even if you don't have a warm heart and don't want to spend your money, uh, uh, to change uh, this YouTuber's life. That's okay. I have something else that's absolutely free for you, and it is our VIP list. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video. By the way, this is a second free thing in uh, the description of this video. Biden reservation, VIP list. Uh, but we'll send out a bonus story at the end of each week. Our amazing writer, AJ, will make sure that that happens. Uh, so go ahead and sign up at eforlecture.com slash VIP. All right, let me hear it. What do you guys think? Are you surprised? Are you shocked? I think I, I am a little bit. Again, wish it was here, but it's not. Looking forward to your comments other than that. See you next time. And remember to stay charged.